Hello again, in this video I'd like to show you how you can erase Windows XP from a dual boot with Windows 7. So if you've dual booted, this is uh, the screen that you get to when you first boot your computer allowing you to choose which operating system you want to boot into. So in this demonstration I'm going to boot into Windows 7 because I want to get rid of uh, Windows XP. I'll just let it boot into Windows 7 and I'll come right back. So once you've booted into Windows 7, you're going to need to download two tools. These are the ones that I prefer to use. Mini Tool Partition Wizard, that's for deleting the Windows XP partition and rebuilding the MBR. And then EasyBCD, we're going to use that to uh, delete the Windows XP entry um, when you are uh, in the boot menu when you first boot your computer. So go to the links in the description. One of them will bring you to Minitool Partition Home. It's free to download. Just click the green button. And then go to EasyBCD. Uh, it's actually neosmart.net slash EasyBCD. Uh, scroll down until you get to this bit. Uh, click register. You just enter your email address. And it allows you to download EasyBCD. So the first tool we're going to go into is Minitool Partition Wizard. When this loads up it's going to show you all your hard drives and your partitions. So here, that's where my Windows 7 sits and that's the partition where Windows XP sits. So to delete that you just right click, delete, and then on this one right click, resize, just drag that over, the, over there, that means your Windows 7 partition is going to fill the whole hard drive. So just say OK, and as you can see it's not actually applied the changes yet but that is what the hard drive is going to look like. All you need to do next is hit apply and then that's the Windows XP partition gone. But after doing that um, you need to rebuild the Windows 7 master boot record or the MBR. So click on the hard drive icon and over in the left you'll see rebuild MBR and you can see pending operations rebuild MBR just click apply and that's it, your computer will now continue to boot back into Windows 7. So, so when you've done that, open EasyBCD. Now we're going to delete the entry um, of Windows XP from the boot menu. edit boot menu and you can see there we've got Windows XP and Windows 7 just highlight Windows XP and then hit delete and then say save settings and that's it once you've done that you can reboot and your computer will boot straight back into Windows 7 and Windows XP um, no longer exists so that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one